Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. I am Kulikin Dragoon. In the last episode, we finished kidnapping Princess Garnet and unfortunately, well, her mom didn't want to let her go. So we've kind of crashed. And Garnet's disappeared. We got introduced to the active time events that we'll be watching, which involve us watching things that are happening at that time somewhere else. So, and we first went down here into the evil forest. So let's go ahead and just run our way through here. Uh, I'm going to try and make this one quick, guys, recording this very, very late based on what's happened. Sh she's in trouble. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'm recording this very late because I had a problem and my Final Fantasy was not actually working for a little while. So, <laughs> release the princess at once. Yeah, like it's really going to listen to you. <laughs> Come on. So now we get our first battle against monsters. And unfortunately, it's captured Dagger. Or Garnet. And we get our first introduction into the trance system. Oh, I'm getting emotional. What, what is that light? I don't know. Somehow it raises my power. Could it be trance? I've heard of it before. Trance is induced by a surge of emotion. Alright, let's take it. So trance actually has two things. One, there are story battles where you will enter trance. And second, there are... It works also like... I need to steal from this. Really? Does, I thought this one had something. Oh, no, I bet it's the next one. Okay, yeah. But, um... Trance works like limits in Final Fantasy VII dud. Or... Actually, I don't know what they're called off the top of my head. Uh, I have to do... Yeah, I have to do free energy. So, the trance skills that you get with Zidane are also dependent on the items that you have mastered. So, any like anything you get from your weapons with him are what gives you your special abilities in trance. And everybody's got a slightly different trance. Free energy. And, um, and as you kind of notice, Zidane looks a little bit different. Everybody's trance makes them transform a little bit. You only have a couple turns in it. But it's a fun little extra thing to have. And bye-bye. He ran away. He doesn't like me. Princess? Princess! What the heck? Where'd they go? She's gone. I was too scared to cast any spells. That monster's probably gonna eat her. How could I let this happen? Don't worry, she's not dead yet. That monster was only a minion. He's probably gonna take her to his master. That means the princess might still be... Come! We must find her at once! Whoa! Uh-oh. So immediately, straight into a not a battle. Let me go, help! So unfortunately this time it's Vivi, who's kind of uh, stuck in the middle here. But Vivi gets an auto turn where he'll cast fire against it. Excuse me, that makes it more useful. But this one, I believe, should Stop absorbing Vivi's health. Come on, please let this work. Ah, come on, I need to steal it. He should, I think he has another sword. I remember he's got a weapon that, yeah, there, the broad sword. That should be Steiner's next weapon. I don't know if he... I can't... I think he has something else, too. 
going back to trance, you'll notice the bars underneath my ATB bars over there. Those are my trance bars. They'll build up slowly. Nah, you know, huge or insane. And most of their trances, I'm not going to be making a ton of use of. Come on, die already. Are you dead? Nope, come on already. There, leather wrist. I knew there was something else I could steal from him. That might be all he has left. I'm gonna steal, try stealing from him. One more time to see. Oh, nope. That's it. <laughs> VV, you killed it. Huzzah! And unfortunately, bosses in this game don't actually give us XP. We can only get AP from the bosses. So that part kind of stinks a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> and I did do a little work with Zidane off screen just to make this part of the fight a little easier. Yeah, I think. Ah! Oh. It breathed on us. B Princess. <laughs> Couldn't resist. You guys are lucky. If it weren't for Zidane, you'd both be dead. Some of the monsters in this forest reproduce by planting seeds in other animals. And when the seeds sprout, it's hasta la vista. You become beef jerky. Um, am I gonna die? No, you're gonna be fine. Here, drink this. It'll remove all the seeds from your body. Ugh. It's because it's grape flavor, isn't it? Princess, I'm coming right now. Stand aside. Room behind you. Go. The princess is in grave danger. Do you intend to abandon her? You're in no condition. Don't worry about the princess. The boss will think of something. Hey! Up. Get some rest. Yeah, and take that medicine I gave you. Damn it. I can't just stand here. The princess's life rests in my hands. What can their boss possibly accomplish? Well, he did manage to fly an airship straight into the heart of Alexandria. Enact an incredibly complicated and yet very well thought out plot to kidnap the princess. The only reason that it failed was partially due to the fact that the princess wanted to be kidnapped. Causing the whole chase scene. It's called Steiner. And Vivi was really the only one who screwed it up by accidentally lighting Garnet's cloak on fire. <laughs> this medicine smells terrible in the color. This is obviously poison. Uh, I can't take it anymore. God help me. Hey, not bad. <laughs> Forget it. Monsters born out in the mist are crawling everywhere. So what? There's nothing out there we can't handle. Yeah, but what are we going to do about the wounded? We can take them with us. How are we going to carry all of them? Trust me, we go now, and we all get wasted. My boys come before the princess, you know. It's too bad. Ah. We're going to stay put till everyone recovers. You better not set one foot outside the ship. You got that? I can't believe you're abandoning her. You're nothing but a big coward. So, alright, treasure. I can see the treasure chest. Get the treasure chest. Bronze gloves. Unfortunately, yeah, the only person in my party right now is still... Uh, leather wrist. Aha. Nope, I want to finish learning <laughs> that first before I try and learn anything else. Got nothing else to say. If you don't agree with me, you're free to leave the band anytime. Okay. 
Uh oh. He looked after us. Active time event. Uh, time to escape. Hmm. The structure is in poor condition. Perhaps I can break out by ramming into the wall. Fire! Fire! Let me out! Ugh. I'm still not feeling well. What's this? What an ugly doll. Princess Garnet, age 15? How dare they write the princess's name on such a ragged doll? Besides, the princess is not 15, she's 16! Princess. That's probably his most spoken word. And the girl who was left behind. We're about to get a lot of active time events, so... <laughs> Bear with us. <laughs> Where'd everybody go? What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> she got left behind. And my widow bye bye. It should be here somewhere. Huh? Damn. Where is it? What happened to my Garnet doll? Man, how am I supposed to sleep now? Jeez. Poor little doll. Fire probably caught it. <laughs> Anyone else find that to be a rather disturbingly awkward, hilarious moment? Alright, I want... I, I want a treasure chest. And another wrist. Hello, Blank. I gave that black mage some medicine. He'll be alright. Why don't you go see him? I think he wants to thank you. Him? Thank me? Psh, no. Alright, we'll go. Now, before we talk to him, there's an ether there. And, I believe, nope. I keep pushing the wrong button. There we go. 116 gil up there. I keep wanting to think that my A button is what I need to press, but it's not my A, it's my B. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. I don't mention it. Besides, it was your black magic that saved the day. You know, you've got a pretty, some major power for such a little guy. What's wrong? Are you peeved at me because I called you little? Hey, you're a great mage with great powers, all right? To hell with looks, it's what's inside that counts. I I'm sorry, when that monster caught her, I couldn't do anything. Hey, don't you worry about the princess, I'll get her back, I promise. Thank you, Mr. Zidane. Whoa, that's the first time anyone called me Mr. Just call me Zidane, alright. Okay, Zidane. Alright, talk to him, leave. Jeez, he was pretty down. Maybe I should have made that promise. I don't even know if I'll be able to find her. Man, I've never felt so strange. Maybe fate brought us together. I can't explain it. Man, I can't stop thinking about her. Am I gonna? Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna forget it. No, I'm gonna go look for her. Yeah, what's there to think about? She's cute, and she's in trouble. That's all that matters. There you are. Why do you? Why do you look so serious? Oh, uh, what are you up to this time? I'm gonna take that knight and the black mage to find the princess. You're crazy. Man, you don't even know what's going out there. Besides, there's no way the boss will allow that. I know. Jeez, why do you always gotta play hero? The boss is gonna kill you. Well, what are you waiting for? Go talk to the boss. But I don't want to talk to the boss yet. I want to run through some other doors. Okay, now I want to see. Here's the treasure chest. Ooh, more ethers. Ethers are always useful. I don't think. Oh, nothing over there. 
And I can't go in to see him yet because Marcus is blocking the door. Fuss from time to time, but he hasn't been all that bad. Alright, down here in the main room. Rubber helm. Which is another item. Someone's been crying. Uh, rubber helm's an item for Steiner. If I come in here... Has you! Yeah. Took you long enough. I fell asleep, darn it. So, you're leaving, huh? Yeah, I promised Garnett I'd kidnap her. <laughs> I didn't ask you why. I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. I guess that's reason enough. Well, I hope you're ready. Because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. All right. Okay, get your butt over the cargo room. we got more room there. You can't just open a door normally. I don't get that. Get the potion. Should be the only thing in this room, I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay. And we're going to have to go fight Baku. Anytime. Again. I ain't holding back. Now, as always, I believe you should try to steal from the boss first. For In this game, the, most of the bosses have items that you are probably going to want. And this is the main reason why I do a little level grinding to start off with. Is just to get Zidane up so that I don't have to worry too much about his defense. I don't have to worry too much about his health while I'm trying to steal all of these items from these different bosses early game. Unfortunately, this fight kind of is does get to the point of being a little bit boring because like, I'm going to try and steal everything I can from him because most of the time, most of the enemies have, or most of the bosses, have two or three items. And it's usually like the last item is the one that you're really going to want. Now, I'm not 100% sure, oh man, if that's true for Baku here or not. But I mean, the first time I got is a high potion, so that's really nice to have early game. Ah, I love a beat. I'm having a hard time with this one. Haha, <laughs> you fell on your face again. Oh man. Later on I'll get a ability called Bandit that will help to improve my thieving skills. But for right now I'm just gonna have to I have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> I got a couple different uh, abilities I like to have keep equipped on Zidane. One of which is a very useful ability, it's called Auto Haste. <laughs> Anyone who's played this game kind of knows what that is. Most of the characters will get an, get multiple auto abilities. So auto, the auto abilities will make use of some item or some ability in game. So like there's an auto potion that whenever you take damage, your character will automatically use a potion or whatever the lowest level potion that you have in your inventory is. Man, oh man, oh man. Auto haste automatically casts hastes on your character, whoever has it equipped. Now, this doesn't... I don't necessarily have to actually have haste, the haste spell on any of my characters. And that's what makes it the best part. So I automatically, like, double... I need to heal... I automatically, like, double my speed out with very little negative repercussion. I won't say there's zero ne negative repercussion because I am technically using my AP points. Oh man, I'm gonna have to just go on and take you out, aren't I? Because you're not letting me steal any items.
Uh, I really wish I had the mug ability right now, too. <laughs> I think I'm going to give this one or two more tries, and if I can't get anything, then I'm just going to go ahead and start wasting into him. Nah, that's... <laughs> I know some of these thefts can be pretty hard, but it's just a pain in the rear when I can't quite get the I can't get the thieving to work. I couldn't steal anything. All right, then I'm just gonna start. Time to go on the offensive line with you, I guess. You wish it tickled. Come on, Baku. You and I, one last chance. Yeah, I'd be a better fighter than that. Ah, <laughs> uh, just wait until we get to some of Zidane's synthesized, uh, synthesized weapons. Those are a lot of fun. <laughs> That's just to be on the safe side. I don't know how much HP he's supposed to have. I think I'm gonna give Thieving one more shot. Man. Alright, then I'm just gonna waste him out. I can't... I, I'm not stealing it, and I don't want to sit here for like the next half hour and try to... <laughs> steal whatever items he's got left. Nope, so that's the end of the fight right there. Alright, you win. I think he might have another rubber hell on him, though I could be wrong about that. I'll be damned. Bravo! Go find your princess. <laughs> God damn, that hurt. He pulled his punches till that last one. Way to go, Zidane. I unlocked the door with the sword, so you're free to talk to that knight. Can't believe you're leaving. You're crazy. Surprised you beat him. You're a lot tougher than you look. Alright, should... I want to see what's over here first. More treasure. Leather hat. I have all the hats now, guys. All of them. Alright, so first we need to talk to Steiner. I don't know why. I like saying that. <laughs> Come on, you're too old to be playing with a doll. Silence! A scoundrel like you could never understand. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kept out her. This is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I will have your head. Take it easy, jeez. I'm going to go look for her now. I'll let you come with if you promise to be good. What do you say, Rusty? R Rusty? I am Albert Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I will never work with you conniving thieves. Captain? I figured you were a private with that cheap, rusty armor. Look, this has nothing to do with Tantalus. It's something I've decided to do on my own. I just want to save Garnett. Hmm. <laughs> You'd better not be lying. Because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, yeah, I'm counting on you, Rusty. Make no mistake, I am only going with you to rescue the princess. I will deal with you personally when this is over. Whatever. It may be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. Um, why are you calling him Master? You fool! That black mage has unimaginable powers. I don't want to get him involved, but alas, it can't be helped. We need Master Vivi's powers to rescue the princess. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. Alright, so, but before you go talk to Vivi, turn around again. And get this treasure chest that's been mocking me. And there's an ether. Mmm, delicious, delicious either. Oh, wait. That's right. Alright, so now... I actually have a chance to do stuff with Steiner. Uh, no. Okay, this broadsword was that he already had equipped. And that's got the Beast Killer. Bronze Helm. Uh, 
Uh, I've already started learning Bug Killer. I don't want to swap him out. Go ahead and put this in, and you notice... Ah, dang it. You notice this Brawn Glove says Antibody is an ability? Go ahead and equip that now. I just... I'd suggest just, like, equip everything for right now unless you know that there's something. Because right now, I don't have enough abilities to use up all my AP points. But Antibody, you want to have Antibody equipped. There are enemies in the forest that will cause poison damage. And Antibody makes that character immune to poison. So make sure you have it and you keep it equipped to any character that you can. I heard you beat the boss. You sure are something. I don't know why the boss was laughing afterwards. Maybe you hit him too hard. <laughs> the boss just let us go. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. Well, Vivi, we're ready to go look for the princess. Really? That's great. Be careful, okay? Actually, we want you to come with us, too. Uh huh? But, but, but I, I, I can't do anything. Hardly, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, I hold your power in greater esteem than I do this scoundrels. B -b 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 I I'm scared. I, I couldn't even move last time. Please, Master Vivi. For the sake of Princess Garnet and all of Alexandria, I humbly request your assistance. Come on, you're a black mage for crying out loud. Show us what you got. Alright, let's go. Okay. I'll try my best. Thank you, Master Vivi. Uh, Master Vivi. Yeah? I it's about your black magic. I, w I wish to try an experiment. I was wondering if... Magic sword? Okay, I'll give it a try. And so this unlocks an ability for Steiner in battle. I'm going to take a look at Vivi's equipment. Doesn't have anything different there. Leather hat's the same. Uh, I want him to have leather wrist because that's already starting to teach him. That goes nothing. And silk shirt. There we go. So now I have him learning the three basic spells. So Steiner, when Steiner and Vivi are both in the party together, they actually create a. Uh, they're allowed, or Steiner is given the magic sword ability in combat. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Walk in the park. Better keep your eyes peeled. Count on you, find the princess. Okay, no. Nothing from you. So, Steiner is then allowed to use Magic Sword. And he can use Magic Sword for any spell VV currently knows. So now that I've got VV learning Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder, I can use Fire Sword, Blizzard Sword, and Thunder Sword. Is that for... Oh, that was just for you. Okay. Jeez. You really dig her, huh? I can't sit around knowing a girl's in trouble. It goes against my nature. Whatever. You're full of crap. Ooh, I get it. You're just jealous that I'm gonna get me a sweetie pie. Psh! She's not even my type. I came down here to give you this. You're always thinking about me. But I won't need a love potion to reel this one in. Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave to the black mage in the night. It's sort of like a seed remover. Cool. This will really come in handy. Why am I always helping you? So we get Blink's medicine. And a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set your abilities. Yep, which you guys have already seen me do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I've already done that. You guys have seen me do that, so there's no need to really worry too much. So now we are outside the ship, and if we come down here and talk to Cena, Cena can now operate as a merchant, but because I have now left Tantalus, I have to pay money. The upside is, because I got 100 out of 100 nobles and the queen, I have 10,000 extra gold that I didn't expect to have. So, what do I need? I want antidotes. A couple of those. A couple of those. That I'm not too concerned about. 
a couple extra of those, and I want to stock up on potions. And I come down here to you. Oh, I have a letter. From Ruby to Zidane. Zidane, are you alright? I'm doing good. I'm an interesting stranger in Alexandria today. I'll tell you more soon. P.S. Tell the boys in Tantalus I said hi. Ruby sounds like a nice girl. Come on! And let's go ahead and save. <laughs> Alright, come on. Saving time. There we go. I'm loving this. And then I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode, guys. In the next episode, we'll be traveling out into the evil forest to save Princess Garnet from the vile clutches of a evil monster. And we'll be having a lot of fun along the way. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.